Yeah, as most of you know, I'm a huge nerd when it comes to the latest tech, especially for DIYers and creators. And for the last three years, Xtool was one of my supporters in the production of my videos. Now they reached out again and asked if I'm interested to visit IFA Berlin to have some fun. And of course, to visit their booth and to check out their latest and greatest machines. And the only two things for me to do were to grab my camera and to hit three letters on the keyboard. Yes! So I drove to Berlin and that is what happened. I was super excited to see three of the X-Tool machines in action. At first a new metal fab, a laser which is capable of doing welding and also CNC cutting. Super interesting for me as a designer who already welds at the shop. The second one is the apparel printer, a DTF machine which produces transfers for nearly every fabric. And the third one, the new P3 laser. I already have the P2, a CO2 and I was interested what's the difference between the P2 and the new P3 CO2 laser. And yes, of course, I had to test out their machines as well. And what's your name? Uh, my name is David. David. Yeah. Can we do a test print on this printer? Yeah, of course. Yes. So, you can okay. scan. You can upload the picture from your laptop. Okay, from the phone? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go to this website. So for all the nerds out there, I was not prepared to print on this printer and the only thing I could find was a 72 dpi picture on my phone. So low resolution, the hardest test for this printer and now let's check the result if it can print even low resolution pictures. Let me give you also some facts about the printer. It comes with two Epson i1600 print heads, one print head for CMYK and another one only for white. So four white channels and what you can see here is a super fast white print we had to wait only two minutes and it has also an included shaker and the powder is a hot glue it will be transferred onto the wet ink and then baked onto the ink and the whole process took around about four minutes for the complete picture and if you are new to DTF printing David will now transfer the print on the fabric with a heat press and the temperature of the heat press is around about 150 to 200 degree and it needs to be pressed around about 30 seconds and the good thing is you will transfer only the ink and the glue no foil on the fabric and when it's cooled down you can remove the transfer foil and what's left is only the ink and the glue. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's only a low resolution uh, 72 dpi web picture and it looks perfect on a bag like this. Check this out. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, what's your name? My name is Marco Waters. Hi, nice to meet you everybody. Okay, and Marco will tell us something about the new P3 and uh, compare it to the P2. I already have the P2 as you might know and now let's check the new machine. Okay, so I'm gonna take you to the P3. We inaugurate this. Uh, this we can say is the first kind of you know, this kind of market. Is a 80 watt powered up laser. We're talking about CO2 laser. As you can tell, the bed of the machine is uh, very wide. We're talking about about one meter by 70, and uh, is able to cut thick material, acrylic, plastic thin aluminium, you name it. This, for example, is a six millimeter thick clay wood. There's one absolutely cool thing I found, I found on this table. It's a baseball bat, it's absolutely huge. And let's check this out and how wide the P3 is. You can laser also this huge baseball bat in one go. Can you put it in to yeah. show us? So you need, of course, the rotary. This one is the size of it, of the machine, yeah. I'm going to leave it in here. To engrave this sort of uh, accessory, you will need a rotary, but this machine also gives you the chance of like this upgraded version of the rotary attachment. It's, a, it's, a, it's an RA3, it's much more solid and upgraded version, and it comes with all magnets. So the system is going to be absolutely easier to use. Can we do a test cut? Absolutely, yes. How about we uh, just... I have a little file on a stick, is that yeah, possible? Yeah, 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 absolutely, yes. You can just give me the file and we can uh, print your thing. We created a little keychain with the E2E logo and now we will cut it in acrylic. And it's super easy to do it. And we have presets also for the acrylic. And now you can see the camera 
and we can place D2 Nobo on the acrylic piece and it takes only seconds and then we can hit print. So just hit print. And the piece 3 comes with two cameras which helps immense to align your graphics on the cut piece and you can also observe the cut while the laser action is happening. So let's check out the keychain. Yeah, and that's how it looks, not bad. We have to remove, of course, the back paper, but that is what the machine is capable of. So we are here at x new metal fab, and with this machine you can cut metal, stainless steel up to two millimeter, and Lou will tell us something about the machine. So, what's new about this machine? So, I have to correct, it's more stainless steel, you can cut like five millimeter. Okay. Yeah, so I can show you uh, here, we have like, we have like five millimeter plate here. So this is stainless steel. Yeah, stainless steel. You oh no, is this is stainless or yeah, normal? Yeah, correct. Stainless steel. So you can you can see. So for all the nerds out there, yes, I was confused because that piece of steel had rust marks. And I'm not sure if it's really stainless, but stainless can also rust if it gets in contact with carbon steel. So let's say it's stainless for now. Maybe it got lost in translation. How thick it can cut. So because we today we only have six bar uh, air compressor, so it's a little bit, uh, the quality is not that good. But if you use like uh, uh, bottom glass, it will be definitely smooth like this one. Okay. So this one is like, uh, we use like oxygen, to pass carbon steel. And can you do that with one pass? How much passes do you need? This is pass, one pass. One pass. So for all the metal cutting, only one pass. Because it has to be, um, all the melting parts should be blow out. Okay. So only one pass. So we cannot do it multiple pass because it will damage the head. Okay. Yeah. And inside the machine is the same laser which you use for handheld? Yeah. So this, I can open the machine. Can we have a look at it? Yeah, inside? of course. So you can see that this machine is really easy to, uh, to operate and we have like 600 by 600 millimeter uh, working area. And also you can feed the plate by both sides. So you can uh, work with like 600 millimeter multiple uh, unlimited plates. Okay. And you can also take off this, this gun and change the head and do the welding and cut cutting that sort of things and you also can have uh, you also can do uh, can use our machines to do the engrave so maybe uh, I can show you here so this is what we engraved yesterday so it's a line here okay can you show the detail of the, of yeah, the yeah. Uh, okay so uh, I have one detail uh, project here to show you so this is designed by our uh, customers, so we cut it like yesterday and you can see. There is also a possibility to remove rust, yeah. is that correct? So correct, so we have like this pit, we can install on it and the laser will burn the system, the, okay. uh, the layers. Yeah. And you can remove also lacquer, okay. clear coat, lacquer. Uh, yeah, I think so, if, because it's like burn something, right? So it's like burn the uh, yes. liquor and... If I already have air supply, is it necessary to buy a compressor? Uh, no. no. So, if the, so I can hook it to the air supply yeah. I already have in the shop yeah. and can use this? Of course. Okay. So, yeah. uh, but uh, the, our uh, compressor must have uh, enough air. Yeah. Yeah, must have enough... Uh, pressure otherwise it's not work because we ask for like uh, six bar uh, and turn to 15 uh, liter per minute yeah. yes so if your air compressor meets our requirements of course you can use your oil. okay so every normal air compressor which is used for custom painting would be fine i guess we have 300 liter per minute or more yeah, yeah, that's, so that's great. I guess so more, it would more, work. more air you have, so yeah. the better the phenomenon yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. 
So that was a super cool trip for me as a tech nerd. I got some new insights into textile printing, in laser engraving, and also in the metal fab, which is my absolutely favorite machine because I do already welding and I can't wait to do metal CNC machining. So thanks for the team at Xtool, thanks to David, thanks to Marco and to Lou for introducing these machines and also a special thanks to Klee for the invitation and for having me at the booth. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Check out the X2 machines and I can't wait to have one of these new machines here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.